Hey shooters, I'm Aaron. And I'm Marty, and we're Shooting South Australia. And today, uh, we're here with the Bernie Karong Speedline. If you finally got our hands on one. Yes. This is such a beautiful rifle, it really is. Um, for those who don't know, these are a French manufactured rifle. They are a nice European rifle, designed for the hunting market. Um, they are a category B firearm, um, all right. over Australia. Class as a lever action. It is a lever action firearm due to this lever here on the side, which after you depress the trigger, the bolt will cycle to the rear, it will eject the spent case, and then it will lock. Um, so you then need to push the lever for it to chamber a new round yep. and start the cycle all over again. And you can't go too rapid fire, there's only a certain uh, amount of time it's got. Uh, yep. So you don't think it's going to be a rapid fire gun, it's not. No, it's a, it's a hunting rifle. Um, these are really good for people that find the uh, lever action rifles like the, the Marlins a little bit um, hard, much to, hard on the wrists and everything. to operate. Now this is a beautiful timber stock with a rubber cheek weld. That can be swapped out as well. Yeah. And um, I think you can change the length as well. Yes, there's a, there's a longer butt pad as well if you want to adjust the length of the pull. A very good weight, nicely weighted on it. This is topped off with a Delta titanium scope. Beautiful, I think it's uh, 1 to 5.8 times. Yeah. Those retail for about 990 and the rifle itself retails for around 3300 This is a perfect combination. Yes. This, this is such a nice, it's a, a red dot but it's got a permanent black dot so during the day you don't have to uh, have it on to the red dot. Now it is a rotating bolt with six locking lugs so it's a very, very solid design. It's gas assisted, feeds from a five round magazine. Um, the standard chamberings are 3006 and 300 Winchester Magnum. Uh, it is also available in 7mm Rem Mag and 7x64 by special order. Yep, um, and next year they're coming out with a 308 version. It's a sporter barrel, um, it's, a, um, it's also fluted, um, so you get that a um, little bit more cooling with the fluted yep. barrel because you get the larger surface area. Nice muzzle well. brake on it. Yes, it comes with a muzzle brake, you can remove that yourself. It comes with all the tools required to do so. Feels um, great, uh, we haven't shot it yet but we know it's going to be, be awesome. Fibre optic open sights, if you don't want to use an optic, if you prefer the open sights, if your eyes are still any good. Um, and next year they're going to come out with uh, 10 round magazines. Yes, there, there is a 10 round magazine coming, um, as but, well as a 308 chamber in coming next year. But it always come with one 5 round magazine. So, and that's essentially it. It's really yeah. designed for that hunting market. Um, that's enough of us gas bagging about it. I reckon we get out in the, in the paddock and do some shooting. Definitely. Nice, three right next to each other by the looks of it. I was aiming for the head and that's just the drop on it. Love it.
where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. What a great day shooting that was. Oh yeah, what a fun gun. Yeah. This is great. Absolutely brilliant. I've been dying to take one of these out into the field and have a go ever since I got news of the first ones coming off the production line. Yep. Um, it just shot beautifully, it handled beautifully, it cycled beautifully. It felt nice. It fed nice. everything. Nicely it weighted. Ate up everything, we fed it. Yep. Um, just went really well. Um, and I tell you what, for a, um, a gun with a lot of components in it, it's still actually quite light to carry around. I'd quite exactly. happily carry that out bush. And with the 3006, hardly any recoil compared to a bolt action, hardly any at all. Yeah. That was, that's, that's what surprised me yep. a lot. The gas system takes a lot of the recoil away, as, yep. as well as the muzzle brake as well. Yep. I imagine, uh, we didn't shoot it with the brake off, but I imagine with the brake off... Yeah, a little bit it, different. It'd, no, it should still take away a lot of the recoil um, because of the gas system. Yeah, that's true. So, um, it was just a dream to shoot. Yeah. Um, very accurate, and for the price point, you're getting a lot of rifle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the European stuff is just fantastic in my yep. eyes. It's, it's the little differences you notice when you pick up a European made rifle versus an American made rifle. Both are fine rifles, um, but everything on the European rifle seems to be just that little bit more well refined and thought out yeah, than is. the American ones. It is. We didn't shoot it with the um, fibre optic sights, but we do know they are accurate, we're told. We just had to scope on it the whole time. We tried two different scopes, one a hunting and one a more of a target scope, and they yep. both worked really well. Performed fantastically with yep. both on there. Definitely outshot me. Yes. That's for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, just a, a beautiful piece of um, European craftsmanship. Yeah, um, just a, it's well finish. made. Oh, this is just fantastic. The, the fit and finish on this, on this thing is fantastic. Um, the ability for those quick follow-up shots too um, is, is really good. Um, I believe in the future they're looking at a larger capacity magazine, so a 10 yeah. rounder. The 10 rounder is coming next year. Um, for but, the, but that'll be an extra, it's only going to be shipped with 5 rounders. Yeah, for the moment it's just the 5 rounders, you do just get the one, so you do need to buy another. But um, I tell you what, I don't. I, what I like about these mags is. If I can get it out. How easy it is to get out. <laughs> uh, the thinness of it, they can fit in your pocket so easily. Yeah. Unlike the double stack mags, these are nice and thin and easy to. To carry around with you. They're really easy to load too. Um, yeah, they they're were. sort of funny because you put the round in in the middle rather than at the front and push it back. But once you work that out, it, it loads really well. It's got little lugs on the bottom, two in the mag, one on the rifle that locate it so that it fits in properly when you when you slide it in. Yeah, there's no struggling with like some guns you're trying to line it up. This just goes in very easily. Yep. So absolutely great bit of kit. These are on the market now. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a variety of calibers coming. Yeah. Um, so keep your eye out on the market for those. But they don't seem to last long in the shops, they set up pretty fast from what yeah. we've been hearing. So pop down and to your local gun shop, um, ask to take a look at one and or if you need they need to yeah. order one in, tell them to get one on the you, shelf. You won't be disappointed in this. This is one of one of the nicest guns at the shop. Yeah. That's for sure. And uh, thank you very much to Australian Sporting Agencies for, um, for rifle. Letting, lending it um, out to us to take out in the field yeah. and shoot. Thanks, Thanks very much for the ammo as well. We did burn through quite a bit. Yeah, that's quite all the ammo. <laughs> that's great. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on our channel for us. It helps out a lot. And if you feel like flicking us a few bucks on Patreon, we'd really appreciate that too. Yeah, it'd be great. Thanks, shooters. Thanks, shooters.